it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we're going to go over how to put HTV on a backpack. Now, there are a few things to note about when you're decorating a backpack, because a lot of people aren't going to tell you this. The fabric on the outside matters. Now, don't get me wrong, but most of the time, your fabric on the outside is going to be a polyester, which most vinyls will stick to. But where you have to worry is what the lining is made out of. So if you look at this backpack, this is Cameron's backpack for the year. This is a polypropylene, so it is a plastic interior. So whenever you're personalizing a bag like this, you've got to work very fast. Now, the good thing about it is, for the most part, you're not going to be throwing your backpack through the washing machine all the time. So you don't have to worry about your letters coming off if they are not completely on there. But when you're working with something like this, this is not a project that I would do with a heat press. We're gonna be working with our Cricut mini press today. Cameron shows the color ice blue to put his name on here. Now y'all are wondering probably why I'm doing a backpack whenever Cameron's not even, he's gonna be doing school virtually for the first six weeks. Well, we went ahead and bought it because uh, they're cheaper now. <laughs> I buy backpacks when they're on sale. And if you wait and buy it in June, or not June, in like January or whenever he decides to go back, whenever things kind of calm down, um, they're gonna be a whole lot more expensive and there's not gonna be as much selection. This is a Puma backpack. I actually was able to get this at Target. And it was originally, I think, there's a price on here. No, I think it was originally like $35 and it was on sale for $25. So you, this is a great time of year to be able to get them on sale. You can get name brands for inexpensive. And he liked the color scheme of this. And I'm one of those moms that buys a new backpack every year. So for today's tutorial, you're going to need your backpack, Teflon sheet, your vinyl, which as I said, we're using the Thermoflex Plus ice blue. Now, one thing I did want to go ahead and remind you of is our weekly wow sale this week, which is actually going to be two weeks, so this isn't going to end until August the 16th, is 15% off your entire purchase. Now, that doesn't exclude kits and bundles, but part of the reason why I want to go ahead and do it is because I know a lot of you are like me, where it's time to personalize. you got to put names on backpacks, on shoes, on binders and lunch kits, so now's a good time to stock up. Uh, I also need a ruler so I can measure out because we're gonna put Cameron's name back here. That's another reason why this is gonna be a little bit different. I've done plenty of backpack tutorials, but we haven't done one to show placing the name on the inner part. Because even though he's bigger, backpacks still go missing, so I still like to personalize. So we have roughly 10 inches, 11 inches by two inches in the gap to do his name. And you're gonna need your easy weed and wooden pick as well as how you're going to heat it. And today I'm using my Cricut mini press because this thing for doing a project like this is amazing. Now, don't forget to continue to watch the video all the way through the end because in the outro, we will be doing our monthly Patreon scrap box giveaway. I didn't even, <laughs> think that it was the first. This, it, 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 I didn't realize how fast this month it went. I thought that we were still in July, so I didn't announce the Patreon kit on the first, but I'm going to be announcing it today, so don't forget to check that out. Now, if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, I'll show you how to lay this out and we'll get it put together. Okay, so as you can see, we are in Cricut Design Space. And the first thing that we need to do is type out Cameron's name, and then we will pick a font. So, Cameron always jokes what his name would be if he were a girl, but I was like, you know, your name is actually a unisex name. It can be for a girl or a boy. So, that's what it looks like all typed out. So, I'm going to go ahead and choose a font and to me it really doesn't we want something that is very easy to read 
But other than that, it doesn't really have to be anything super fancy or especially with where we're putting it. Now, if you were doing this for a little girl, you might want to make it a little bit special. Yeah, that looks a little, little kitty. Now, the thing is, especially because Cameron is a little bit older, I don't want it to look too little kiddish, if that makes sense. Um, because there's some super cute fonts in here, but there are some that look like they're made for smaller children. Like there's stuff that I would have used whenever he was in elementary that I won't look at using for whenever now he's, this is his last year of middle school. Okay. Let's look for Cooper Black. Cooper Black is always a good. There we go. We're going to use Cooper Black. Okay, so that's what Cooper Black looks like. Just a nice basic font. Now, we have 11 inches to work with, which I'm not going to make it 11 inches. We're going to go ahead and make this 9 inches wide. Now, I want to hit the unlock because I do want to make it a little bit taller. I want to make this 1.5 inches tall. So, as you can see, I just stretched it out a little bit. So it will fit a little bit better into the spot. Now we're going to go ahead and click on make it. We want to make sure that we are mirroring, mirroring it. Go ahead and click continue. And now I'm just going to choose everyday iron on. Now if you'll give me a moment, I'll show you how we're going to put this together. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So as you can see, I have my backpack laid out here. I do have my Cricut Easy Press Mini right here, and I have it heated to the second level. Not to the highest level, because the, to me that is a little bit too hot for this. Now, this is kind of a guesstimation on temperature, because that's the one thing I don't like about the Cricut Mini that the Easy Press does, is the Easy Press does tell you a temperature the Mini does not. So I'm just weeding our vinyl. Very simple to do. There we go. So, as you can see, I have a cardboard book right here. Um, I use these a lot for when I'm heat pressing on strange objects like this. And I'm just going to take and insert it in to the Let's change that camera angle. Sorry, didn't mean to bump it. Okay, so on this inner part, there is a laptop sleeve. I'm going to place that book into the laptop sleeve. So that way it gives me some firmness, but I'm not just directly on the back of the backpack. So now I'm just going to Center this. Looks pretty good. I need to go over that way just a hair. Liking how that looks. What did I do with my Teflon sheet? Cameron, go grab me a Teflon sheet. I forgot to bring it over here. It's on the table still. And I'm going to get Cameron to grab my Teflon sheet. It's right here, baby. It's right here on this other table. Not out of the room. Okay, so Teflon sheet, cover it up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four five now the one thing i can tell you about this especially when you are practicing this yourself is it's better to go shorter and slower than it is to rush through this and then you melt your backpack now i'm just going to take and do a final little pressing turn that off there we go look how good that looks Go ahead and remove the notebook out of it. And as you can see, 
we didn't melt the inside. So, now if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, we'll go over everything we just did. So before we end this video, I wanted to go ahead and announce the August 2020 Patreon scrap box winner, which is Jewel Devane. So Jewel will get that box shipped out to you. Now, if you are interested in winning the regular scrap box, make sure you have watched the video from July the 4th and that will, in comment, make sure you're subscribed and like the video, and that will enter you in for the drawing for tomorrow. And we do those on the day, so you still got a few hours to enter in. Don't forget that we have our weekly wow sale, which is actually for two weeks, 15% off your entire purchase, no code needed, in store and online. It's an awesome deal. Now that does exclude kits and bundles. Now, don't forget to check me out on all my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. But I guess that's it. So we shall see y'all tomorrow is also our live video at 5. Bye.